Now, the healing process continues in Buffalo's Jefferson Avenue neighborhood more than a year now after the top smash shooting that claimed 10 lives. So today, volunteers rolled up their sleeves for a community cleanup and flower planting event designed to bring a little beauty to an area that's gone through so much pain. 7 News reporter Christia Williams here in studio with more. Hey, Christia. Hey there, Taylor. The Jefferson Avenue Business Association has partnered with Buffalo Reuse to pack in the soil and plant flowers. I spoke with one family of volunteers who say they donated money, but getting their hands dirty is the true way to see change blossom. And was that your first thought? What can I do to help when you got the news? Yeah, I felt like I needed to do something right away. Mother of three, Tracy Hurley, says she is planting heartfelt and mindfulness seeds as often as she can. They just need to know that you know, different areas are suffering in different ways and, and, and sometimes they do need help, you know, and not everything's given to you. She says the heavy tragedy that occurred on May 14th of last year is something a mother never wants to tell her kids about. And she wants her family to be a part of the positive push forward. It has brought to the area how much we need to change and how much we need to help this area. The Hurley family put their gardening gloves to work right in front of the top supermarket on Jefferson Avenue. Fill them all the way up. And for Tracy's daughter, Lena, planting outside of tops is bringing her passion off the paper. I just like drawing flowers because I like art. I think it will just give everyone like hope and make like people feel better. And what we're going to do is we're going to hand all the flowers out. Just want to make it a beautiful place that people feel safe and comfortable. Pick up, repeat. Founder of Buffalo Reuse, Michael Gaynor, says the organization will be planting flowers that look just like this up Jefferson Avenue. He hopes that this will blossom some positivity and help take the steps towards a brighter future. Everything takes work, and this has been a side of town, to be honest, that's uh, been you know, kind of left out of the kind of renaissance or growth of the city. So these types of actions and these types of activities and these types of programming, they help to bring people out, give them hope, energize them, and make them feel like that there is something happening here. Well, it's showing that the community is really coming together. And these flowers represent just this. Belonging, the happiness and everything. Flowers bring that out in people. You tell me somebody that wouldn't like a dozen roses. <laughs> Hurley says this is just the beginning. Actions like this have to continue for real change to be seen. We still have to remember to continue to help this area. It's those little actions that when all taken together really start to make an impact. Gainer also announced a new project called Sunfields of Buffalo. This is where volunteers with Buffalo Reuse will plant sunflowers right next to tops this summer going into this fall. It's definitely something you want to look out for. Taylor? Yeah, sounds good, Chrissy. Thank you so much.